Now let us get into miscellaneous questions. The question is the function is defined in R to R and f of x equal to 10x plus 7. We need to find g, a new function g such that gof equal to fog equal to identity. So given f of x equal to 10x plus 7 and also gof equal to fog, we need to find g that satisfies this condition. If gof equal to fog, then we know f is invertible and g is its inverse. Therefore, g is nothing but f inverse. So, when f of x equal to 10x plus 7, we can take f of x equal to y. And on rearranging, we will get x equal to y minus 7 by 10. So, this is your g of y. And this is the required function g in R to R. So, the next question. Function f is defined in whole numbers and f of n is n minus 1 if n is odd and f of n is n plus 1 if n is even. We need to show that f is invertible and also we need to find the inverse of f. So, w is defined here as set of all whole numbers. Yeah, there is a spelling mistake, sorry for that. So, given function is f of n equal to n minus 1 if n is odd and n plus 1 if n is even. So, to find uh, first to show that f is invertible, we need to go for 1 to 1 and on to check. So, let us first do 1 to 1 check. If n is odd, f of n equal to n minus 1 and uh, f of n1 equal to f of n2. This implies n1 minus 1 equal to n2 minus 1 and hence n1 equal to n2. If n is even, f of n is given as n plus 1. So, n1 plus 1 equal to n2 plus 1 which implies n1 equal to n2. So, thus f of n is 1 to 1 in both the cases that is both in odd number case and also in even number case. Now, we need to prove on 2. For on to check, if n is odd, let n equal to 2m plus 1 because this of the assumption that an odd number equal to even number plus 1. So, this even number is 2m, I can write 2m plus 1. So, n equal to 2m plus 1 which is an odd number where m belongs to whole number. Because we have taken odd number n equal to 2m plus 1 and in odd numbers we know f of n equal to n minus 1. Therefore, f of 2m plus 1 is equal to 2m plus 1 minus 1 which is equal to 2m. Thus, every even number in codomain has an odd number pre-image in the domain. This is the domain and this is the codomain. I have odd number, even number, odd number, even number. Here also odd number, even number, odd number, even number. So, for any odd number in the domain, we have an even number in the codomain. That is the reason why we said every even number is mapped to odd numbers in the domain. So, what if n is even, sorry this is n is even, f of n equal to n plus 1. Since it is an even number, it is a multiple of 2 and hence n equal to 2m where m belongs to w or whole numbers. Now, f of 2m equal to 2m plus 1. That is, every odd number in the codomain has an even number pre-image in the domain. So, every odd number is mapped to even number in the domain. 
So thus you can notice that all the elements in the codomain they have pre-image in the domain and hence it is on to as well. Since f is one to one and on to it is invertible. Now we need to find the value of f inverse. Let us say f inverse is equal to g of m for odd number f of n equal to n minus 1. Let us call f of n equal to m. So, thus m equal to n minus 1 therefore n equal to m plus 1 which means g of m equal to m plus 1. So, for even number f of n equal to n plus 1 going by the same rule we get g of m equal to m minus 1. Thus, the f inverse what we have got here is g of m equal to m plus 1 if m is even, m minus 1 if m is odd. Also the given question is that f of n equal to n minus 1 if n is odd, n plus 1 if n is even. Look at the similarity here, n minus 1 if n is odd, m minus 1 if m is odd, n plus 1 if n is odd, even m plus 1 if m is even. So, these are nothing but the one and the same function and hence the inverse of f is f itself.